Soldier Field opened back in 1924 with the Bears becoming tenants in 71. And what a home field advantage it has become here in Chicago. Straight ahead, we've got a pretty good one on tap here as it'll be the Detroit Lions taking on the Chicago Bears. The Bears offense out there set and ready to go. They go here with a former Lion. It's DeAndre Swift. Able to slither by. And out across midfield, down to the 45. Heck of a start. A 30-yard pickup on their first play from scrimmage. Bit of a haymaker right after the starting bell, Charles. One play on the ground, and you're already on the other side of the 50. I like how you went boxing there. Essentially went from the way in to walking into the ring, being introduced, and firing away. Big shot early. Williams. Allen nifty footwork. And they wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. 26 big yards on that one. It's another first down. And this is exactly the kind of drive we're hoping for out of the gates. They're mixing the run and the pass well, keeping this defense off balance early. And they're on the march here with another first down. Now Williams on first down. And he'll go right back to Allen. That's complete. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. And he's already got two catches on the opening drive. <laughs> they know he's going to be a handful. And sometimes you game plan for that offensively. You want to make sure that guy touches the ball, and sometimes it just happens naturally. And then you change your game plan. When he has the hot hand, you keep going back to him because he's running routes with confidence as the game goes on. And he will find Scott on the right side complete. And the Bears are going to have a first and goal as he'll be taken down at the seven-yard line. Well, this is what you want to see from your rookie quarterback on an opening drive, Charles. He looks cool. He looks calm. He looks collected in marching them down the field. And, Brandon, I just think the game continues to change and evolve because we're calling these guys rookies. But, you know, they've thrown the football so much at a younger level now, way more so than what we saw when guys came into the league when you and I came through and also just the way in particular to him, Charles, how he handles himself in meetings, just so professional, mature. Looks like he's been in the league five years. Yeah, he cares about the game. He cares about his performance, and it's showing. Second and goal from the one. Johnson is into the end zone for a Bears touchdown. So they brought the extra bulk in down on the one-yard line, and they're able to push this one across. Yeah, I can just see your face right now because I know we're mind-melding on this one. Coach Madden would love this. Power football, hat on a hat, chest to chest, driving forward, touchdown. Santos with the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. After the touchdown, here's Santos to kick this one away. And this taken in at the goal line. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. And Detroit getting set to go now. Goff in this Lions offense set for a first and 10 at their own 24. And here's the former Bear. This is David Montgomery. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. Now that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job 
and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big-time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. St. Brown motioning left. That one let go deep for Laporta. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there's not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. Goff on third down. Look in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Lions first down, and he'll have it by plenty as they're able to keep the drive alive on third and inches. I know at the end of games, coaches always tell us that no one play won or lost a game. But this seems pretty important early, doesn't it? Their, their ability to pick up that first down on third down, I thought that was key. Well, you're already in the hole after the touchdown on the other side. How will you respond? We talk about that a lot. And they responded pretty well there. You go three and out, I think you give up a lot of momentum. You get down two scores, could be an entirely different game. So they've got a nice drive going now. They're in good shape. What's interesting to me is they're also in that spot of the field where you would take a shot. Do you change that up just because you're down a touchdown? Here's second and ten. Out of the gun. Golf. He'll leave it for Montgomery complete. That helps the completion percentage, but not much else. And now it's third and ten. But forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. Third down and ten. Play action. It's gone. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds incomplete. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball. But he was unable to get away from the defender. Couldn't create space. Couldn't uncover at the end of the route. And that one winds up incomplete. Jack Fox out to punt here on fourth down. Fair catch taken right at the 10-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And it'll be first and 10 Bears from deep in their own territory. They'll start on the ground with Swift. And strong running there gets this up over the 15-yard line. A feet to Melifonwu up to make the tackle there. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Now second and five. Looking to throw. Williams. He'll get that complete to his tight end, Cole Komet. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. Good yardage after the catch. Is that play good for 30 and a first? That is the exact right play call against that defense. So a hat tip to the offensive play caller because he won that part of the chess match. But give credit to his players as well. They won the execution part of it. Here's Williams on first and 10. There's the tight end Carlson. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran it a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line. But once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. Looking to throw on second down. Williams. That pass complete to Moore. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. His first catch, good for 14 there and a first down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. And they run the option here on first and 10. And he'll follow his blockers there all the way down to the 23-yard line. 
call it a gain of 14 for the second play in a row. Well, he is certainly dangerous when he spots a lane, and he keeps it himself there and worked out well. And how about the moving parts on a play like this? You know you have to practice it over and over because it's almost like a ballet that has to be choreographed. But how about once he made the decision to go, he committed to it and went. Let's face it, most teams are going to defend the running back much more than the quarterback on that type of a play. A gain of eight there on the play, and they'll be left with second and a couple. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Williams looking to throw on second down. Over the middle, and it's caught. Keenan Allen. It'll be a pickup of four, good enough to earn him yet another first down. Allen, the man in motion, left. On first and ten, it's Swift. And he'll find his way down inside the ten to the nine-yard line. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped him. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. Allen, the man in motion right. Right back to Swift again on second down. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. On third down, Williams. Over the middle, complete. It's Scott. And yeah, they get him down about two yards shy of the line to gain. A third down pickup of five. What well, we hear so often how tackling has become almost a lost art in the NFL game. But it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one. Third down, they gave him the underneath stuff. You got to go up and make the tackle right away. Williams now throwing on fourth down. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. On first and ten, Goff. It's Williams on the catch. They call it no gain there on the first down play. Now a second and ten. Now a give running left with Montgomery. And they'll get him down up past the 15-yard line. 11 yards there and a Lion first down. Those are the types of runs they told us they want to see more of. Look, they'd love the 60 to 70 yard runs, but those 10 to 20 yarders, they can help you win a ball game. And that means everyone's invested because you know the big guys up front. That's what they do. They try and move people. But when you get your perimeter guys involved downfield, that means that they care about the running game and they know it helps their team. Pass to 20 for a short gain, second down. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. From the 21, here's a second and seven. Now golf. A little short pass here taken in by Laporta. And he's upended after a gain of four up to the 25-yard line. He's a rookie, and you don't want to get hung up on the word potential. But when you see him make catches like that, you keep thinking to yourself, he's good now. He's got a chance to be great with plenty of work. Now it's gone. He's airing it out for Williams. And it's knocked away and incomplete. The fact that he took the shot deep downfield, even if you don't get the catch, maybe you get a defensive penalty and pick up the yardage that way. On fourth down, Jack Fox on to punt for Detroit. 
His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. Fair catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard line. A 41-yard punt there with no return, and the Bears take over. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. They go quickly here out to Moore. And he's going to be taken down right at the line. So nothing doing there at its second down. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Back in Chicago, ready for the second quarter. It's the Bears in possession. Second and ten. As they've got it as we resume action. On second down, Swift. He's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. Now Williams on third down. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. And fourth down, so they send out Trenton Gill. Back deep, Khalif Raymond. And a fair catch signaled for and taken just outside the 20-yard line. A 40-yard punt, no return, and the Lions will take over. Detroit's offense ready to take over. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. A shotgun snap for Goff. This is caught by Williams. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. The Goff and Williams hooking up there for a Lions first. I think it all came together there. In-breaking route. Drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Throw caught by Raymond. And he's brought down. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Down to the 42, second down. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. On second down, here's Gibbs. And nothing but green grass here, middle of the field. Touchdown, Detroit. Jameer Gibbs. 42 yards. And the Lions are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Well, that's a good-looking rookie right there. I love how he let the play set up and then showed that explosiveness that I saw on tape in college. Remember I showed you the clip of what he was doing and setting up blocks, and then he would just go? We saw it on that play right there. That one was fun to watch. Extra point by Badgley, up and good. And we are tied at seven.
So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. No run back here for Jones, a touchback. The Chicago offense set to get started. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Here's Williams, throwing on first down. That'll be caught, it's Scott. Well, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. A big gainer there on the catch and run, 37 yards. And the offense is saying to itself right now, only they were all this easy because he was wide open. And once he made the catch, plenty of room to work his way downfield. That was a breakdown on the defensive side of the ball, one that they want to fix immediately. Going quickly out wide to Moore. Flash the stick skills, but didn't get a ton from it. Stop short of the 35. So the completion gets him just a yard, and it'll be second down. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. Ooh, the juke. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. 54 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. First down, and they go with Swift again. The tackle there by Malcolm Rodriguez. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Now second and nine. Herbert powering up the middle. And a pretty good run as he'll get this down close to a first at the Lions 16. And he's able to get most of what he needed on the carry there. Seven yards on the gain, and it's third and two now. So much of the game today, we're looking for hybrid players, guys who can do a combination of jobs. And anyone who plays a strong safety position now more than ever is a hybrid type player. Half defensive back that covers passes and half linebacker that makes tackles. We just saw the linebacker make that play. He went backwards five yards there on third down to break up four. I thought he did a nice job there setting an edge and make sure nothing could get to the outside. But he decided that wasn't enough for him. Worked his way back inside and made the tackle on the ball carrier. Santos' kick is up and through. And they take the lead here now at 10-7. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks, you tell us, end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. After the main field goal, Santos back out there to kick it away. The return man down to a knee, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. So here come the Lions now. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Tyreek Stevenson in on the stop. Nice, satisfying run on first down for the offense, picking up five, which means defensively 
the thought process is entirely different. You don't want to panic, but at the same time, you're saying to each other, we've got to tighten this down. We can't give up gains like that. Back to Montgomery on second down. Call it a gain of four there, so it sets up a big play here. Third and a yard. But if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. The offense on third down tonight, just one for three thus far. They're up against a third and one situation. They'll run it. Here's Montgomery. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. Just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. Well, partner, none of these runs individually have added up to a whole lot. Now three plays, all three short runs, but together a first down. Yeah, it's amazing how the narrative changes when you string them together. First down, here's the run to Montgomery. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. No sweat from Montez Sweat that time as he makes that stop look easy. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. On second down, here's Goff. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Fair to say it hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. He's got to throw it better. Got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught. They got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. Throwing on third. Goff. He's going to let this one go deep. And that will be incomplete. They weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. So one first down on that drive, and that's it. Forced to take the deep shot on third down and couldn't hit it. Now they have to punt this one away. Here's Jack Fox now as he's on to punt for Detroit. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Here's Jones on the return. It's a return of five following a punt of 42 yards. And out will come the offense as they take over. Onto the field now come the Bears. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> not one that I've ever met. Well, from an offensive perspective, that was a tough run because he only picked up three yards. Well, let's flip it over to the defensive side. They now have the advantage. Three three-yard gains, that means they're punting the ball likely on fourth down. That's what you're looking for when you're playing defense. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. And I think he was a little surprised to see the ball sitting out there like that. That's a ball he had a chance to come away with, but it winds up an incomplete pass. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. They'll try and set up the screen to Swift. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. It's a nine-yard gain, and it'll keep the drive moving. I'm not sure that that was necessarily a safety valve or a check down throw on third down. Sometimes just try and find the open guy and get him the ball. He did exactly that and found a way to pick up a first down. Got an open man. It's Scott. And that play is blown up. Losing yardage back at the 35. That one unable to develop. Never got going. A loss of a couple. And it's second down. Now that was well defended. And as a cornerback, what you're taught when you see a wide receiver screen, either you get underneath the play before the blocking forms, or you're going to have to fight your way through it by getting through some blocking. That was a really nice play there. Williams throw here into the hands of Moore. And he'll get two or three out of that one as that is going to take us to the two-minute warning. So just three yards on the completion there. And that's going to set up a tough third and nine. Oh, 
Back to throw again. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. All right, let's just go ahead and walk through this one pretty easily, right? Blast off the line of scrimmage. Get downfield to a certain point, usually around 8 to 10 yards. Turn around and make sure the quarterback sees your numbers and set yourself up for the pass. A well-executed curl route by Charles Davis. And the Lions pressure too strong. Down he goes. D.J. Reader able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. And no matter what the situation, the O-line just hates that because they feel like they didn't protect little brother back there, right? Man, that's just so difficult for them because just think about every single play. When you decide to throw the football, you're dealing with some of the best athletes on the planet. You talk about guys that they weren't playing football, they'd be starting in the NBA at power forward. It's a really difficult task. What a sequence there defensively. You get the sack to move him to third and long. Then here, just nothing available. And he's got to throw it away. Ninth play of the drive now on third and a country mile. Swift going to try up the middle. And he'll fight his way forward to about the 48-yard line. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Now here's Trenton Gill on to punt. Fair catch called for right around the 11-yard line. 36 yards on the punt with no return. And the Lions are going to take over with a long field ahead and a first and 10. Now a first down throw. Golf. That pass caught. It's Williams. And mark him down way up close to the 40 at the 39. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. From up near the 40 now after the big play to start. Here's another first and 10. Back to throw. Goff. And that's to the left sideline and incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. From the gun, here's Goff. Over the middle and taken in by Laporta. And the Lions quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. First down, golf. And that's going to be too high. Out of bounds and incomplete. Yeah, their back's up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple of more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. Out of the gun. Golf. A throw left sideline falls incomplete. But it looked like a march to the end zone has hit a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. 
Again, Dolph. Ah, uh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yes, yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They're giving him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. A final shot before break here. Golf. He's going to take a shot at the end zone. Why not? And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. So we've hit halftime. Just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result had he opted for the touchback. The Lions offense now with a football first here to begin quarter number three. It's been a tight game to this point. What do they need to do, Charles, to break through in the second half and take the lead? Well, I think the first thing they need to do is thank their defense for keeping them in this game. And you know what I think the defense is saying back to them? Why don't you guys focus on getting some first downs, putting some drives together, give us a little bit of a break here. If we can get some rest, we'll play even better for you. And oh, by the way, pay off a few of those drives with some points too. They trail by three, and they just got three yards to start the third quarter. Man, I just love being in this stadium. So much history, tradition, so many great teams and games, and we're seeing a pretty good one right now. Hotly contested in the third quarter. The throw down the field caught by his running back. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. 22 yards there, a first down. Yeah, big play there. And when you have a running back that you can use like a wide receiver, when he has that kind of versatility, you do as they did there. Get him out of the backfield and give those defensive backs something else to worry about. Off play action. Here's Goff. To the sideline and incomplete. We've seen these defenses make enough opportunistic plays to keep this one low scoring. Flying around, making plays on the ball, and we see yet another errant throw as a result. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Up the middle, it's Montgomery. And he's going to be brought down inside the 45 at the 43. 44 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Well, this play sequence was really kind of called in reverse. Incomplete pass on first and 10. Nice run on second and 10 when probably everyone was expecting him to throw the football. Now, if you're the defense, what are they going to do on third down? You're a little off balance. Gibbs will try and pick it up. He can't get him down. And now the rookie's free. Touchdown, Detroit. Jameer Gibbs with his second touchdown of the night. And the Lions have taken the lead here in this third quarter. We see this a lot on third and short yardage, especially down here in the red zone. They're going to sell out to stop the run, try and hold them to a field goal. But once the running back gets past the first wave, the resistance can evaporate after that. And he not only picks up the first, but he takes it all the way into the end zone. is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. So here are the Bears now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. 
And Charles, it feels like we're set up for a good second half here. Came out of the locker room, one score game. Now the lead has already changed hands. Well, this offense, they've got an opportunity right now to take that lead right back. Yeah, and it feels like you're going back and forth, almost a little bit like a tennis match, right? And we're just, you know, our heads just keep moving. Which side has it? Which side's going to score? How are they going to go out doing it? A little bit of a challenge for each side trying to match each other. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. Second down and three. Back to throw. Williams got his man complete over the middle. That's Scott. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That catch puts him over 70 yards receiving now as he's got a first down. And it's pretty evident that this passing game has been frustrated so far. They haven't really moved the ball the way we might have expected, but this is a good pickup here for the first down. Now here's a little touch pass as they tap it quickly to their receiver. A nice play design there with the touch pass. Looked good at the start, but bottom line, the defense was ready. And they did a nice job scouting, didn't they? Not just scouting but now executing once they saw the play for real after having worked on it all week in practice. They drilled on the play, then they drilled him. They'll look to throw again. This caught by Carlson. They'll give him four yards there, and it brings up third and five now. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Again, he'll drop to throw. Open man here is Scott, complete. And oh, he's just gonna be short here, barely. Maybe by a half a foot, it'll be fourth and inches. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it. And then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping them from a first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. And that ball's going to angle out at the three-yard line. A beauty. So they make the decision to kick it on fourth and inches. That close, and they decide not to go for it. Well, but short of going for it, I think they got as good of a result as they could have gotten. Yeah, if you're not going to go for it in that situation, yeah, that's exactly what you're looking for. They'll start on the ground with Montgomery. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. That first down play, all you want to do is wedge out any type of space and try and create enough room that if you have to run the punter out there, he can successfully complete the punt. Yeah, didn't get a ton there, but at least some positive yardage. Second down and eight. They'll keep pounding here with Montgomery. And this is going to double their room to maneuver, able to get it from the 5 to the 10-yard line. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they are playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Here's third and three. Gone. and end up settling on his running back who scored on their last possession, but the coverage held, it goes incomplete. Here comes the Lions punter now as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. Forty-three yards on the punt, return of four, and they will take over first and ten. The Bears offense now getting ready to take over. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. 
call it a gain of six on the play, and that'll make it second down. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. 64 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. And that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run. And at that yardage gained, they can run that play on any down. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. After seeing that, maybe time to go back to some downfield throws here. Yeah, anything. Change it up because the teams that win, the best teams, they're the ones that make adjustments. Doesn't mean you can't come back to what you thought you could get done. Sometimes when you open things up a little bit, you can get back to what you wanted to do before. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. The 25-yard line is what they need here. This is third down. Operating from the gun, Williams. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Continues to be a struggle for this offense and this home crowd. They're growing a little restless here in the second half. And I think they've just got to look at how they're trying to move the football. Yeah, you want to run it, but maybe you spread it out, maybe some swing passes that can take the place of runs and give you a little more space. Now an option play on second down. Stiff-armed him. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. The pickup goes for 13 and sets him up first and goal. Well, with him trailing here in the second half, maybe his legs can try to give this offense a spark. And that's the benefit of having a young quarterback, right? Having a rookie, a guy who will say, hold on a second, I have a little bit of fearlessness to my game. It isn't working as well the other way. Let's see what I can do to help my team this way. And boy, he did it there. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. Not a whole lot there on first and goal, and that's what you're looking for defensively. You'll certainly live with giving up just a yard or two in this situation. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. The slot man in motion right. One more time with Swift. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. And they have just not been able to block him at all throughout this game. Seems like every other play, he's doing something in the backfield. Already got two sacks, and now here's a tackle behind the line. They'll look to throw on third and goal. Got his man. Chicago touchdown. Keenan Allen, a nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Bears have retaken a third-quarter lead. Well, with this rookie QB, we talk a lot about his ball placement and how good he can be at laying it right in there. I think we just saw, Charles, though, the strength of that arm. That was an absolute rifle for the completed touchdown. It absolutely was, and let's face it, you think he was really ready to get that first touchdown? Absolutely. He threw that pass with authority, just as you described. Big-time arm right there, and let's face it, a lot of quarterbacks used to be pitchers in baseball. The fastball was usually their best pitch, and we saw it there. Now, 
after the touchdown. Here's Santos to kick this one away. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped it to 23-yard line. So out now come the Lions. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Back to Montgomery on second down. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. Touchdown, Detroit! David Montgomery. 74 yards. And the Lions have answered back with a third quarter touchdown of their own to retake the lead. Pretty good response. They had given up the touchdown and the lead, but they struck back. And I love the way that they just saw it happen. Took a quick exhale on the sidelines. So let's go get it back and fast. Let's go ahead and throw the ball downfield and get our own six points. A huge chunk play to regain that lead. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Valus Jones now from his end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. That last drive, it was a good mix. Run, pass, run, pass. Defense on their toes. And what really helps out in a big way is when you're doing the run-pass mix and everything's working, that means that they're guessing wrong every time on defense. They think you're going to pass when you run and vice versa. I will continue that, and when they finally draw a beat on you, maybe you mix it up a little bit with play action and throw the ball. And will they maintain that balance? Time to find out. Three quarters in the books. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now at Soldier Field. It's Bears football, but they trail on the scoreboard as we get set to bring you the fourth quarter. On second down, a run with Herbert. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. That was a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. So first and 10 now from the 30. Looking to throw. Williams. Throws left side, complete to Keenan Allen. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six. And yeah, that's going to bring up second down. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. This is Swift on the counter. And good running there as he'll take this all the way up to midfield. 
76 yards on the ground here for Swift. And he's got a first down as well. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and ten. And holding it may be the wrong decision as he stopped in the backfield. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Well, sometimes that option can get bogged down before the gears really even get into motion, and I think that's what we saw there. And I think what he saw, he saw a defensive end right in his face because he looked up and he was right there. Didn't even have a chance to get going. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Trying to get their tight end involved finally. That's the first time that they've looked his way. He's kind of been a forgotten man in this offensive scheme. Yeah, it didn't look his way at all in the first half. And I'll bet you the offense coordinator made a note at the half and said, let's get him involved because he could be a big-time playmaker for us. Williams to throw on third down. And a throw there going to be incomplete. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. Here comes the Bears punter now as he's on to kick it away. And this will do the job nicely as that will be out of bounds just inside the 10-yard line. Let's go old school there. That's absolutely a great coffin corner punt. Someone's put some time in working on that, hasn't it? Seems like every year these guys get better and better. It's amazing how they can command that football through the air. Yeah, they used to actually practice with hula hoops where they place them and try and put them there. Now a lot of guys use barrels on the sidelines to try and put the football in one. On first and ten, golf. A little short pass here taken in by Laporta. And out of bounds across the 15-yard line. So the completion results there in nine yards. And they'll have a second and one forthcoming. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that in-line point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days. But you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target. And that's how he'll shred a defense. A tight game like this, such a tough spot for the offense to be in, even though they have the lead, Charles, back up so close to their goal line. they got to protect the football. And that's when you have to take care of your team with play calling as well. Not a lot of misdirection, not a lot of counters, not a lot of plays where you have extra ball handling. Get it right to the hands of your running back. Tell him to take care of the ball and try and move forward. That's good for nine yards as they convert on the third down play. Well, it is our business to analyze what we saw out there. And on that play, I saw a defense staying in base, not taking a chance, not blitzing in a situation when they absolutely need the football back. That's either a case of overthinking it or not thinking it through. If you do blitz, do you have to be careful about where you're coming from or are you just coming from all angles? You have to be careful about where you're coming from, obviously. But at this stage, you have to take a few chances as well. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route, and that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. From the gun, Gibbs will get it. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily... Williams loses the football. But it looks like one of the DBs has it. And they'll take over inside the 45 at the 44-yard line. Now a toss for Swift left side. And down to the 41. Well, they held him to a short gain on that one, and it almost felt like on that first run, they were trying to just throw the jab at him. So how do you stop a jab? Get closer and smother it, just as they did on that last play. From the 41, here's second down at seven. Once again, it's Swift. And he gets it down to the 32. 
Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Well, that last run for a first down, it really shouldn't be the last to offer the defense. I don't care how many they've had in the box. They need to add more people. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They will run straight ahead with Swift. And an excellent job of finding the opening as he's got this now all the way down to the 22. It's a pickup of 10 and a Bears first down. We'll definitely see some open running lanes, and he's taking advantage of it right now, but that shouldn't be a surprise. Defense has the lead. They're playing for the pass first. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Caught by Allen. So five yards here, five on the play. And that will bring up second down. But right there, he rose to the occasion late in a close game. It's something he thought about, dreamed about, and worked on throughout his career. Because in these types of situations, he wasn't going to allow extra coverage to keep him from getting the football. Williams. And it's caught. Touchdown! Keenan Allen, his second touchdown tonight. And the Bears have taken a fourth quarter lead. Those are the types of plays in these moments they were hoping for from this young rookie, able to put him up here in the fourth quarter. How about the kid? You just mentioned it. The fourth quarter. This is when you have to make those winning plays. That's what he just did. Doesn't ensure anything, but he certainly gave his team a heck of a chance, didn't he? After the touchdown, here's Santos to kick this one away. Taking it about the one. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. And Detroit back in possession of the football. We certainly have a good one on our hands. They're trailing after that last touchdown, but now a chance for this offense to try to snag that lead right back here in the fourth quarter. Goff in this Lions offense, set for a first and 10. At their own 21. He'll begin by dropping it off to Montgomery. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. That one, 28 yards on the ground. That looked like a two-deep coverage, which we call cover two. And what that really means is you have corners, what we call rolled up in about a five-yard area on the outside receivers. Then your safeties are back closer to the hash marks near the middle of the field, somewhere around 10 to 12 yards back. So if you can break through the first level, you've got a chance to run before you encounter any type of resistance from the safeties. We saw the example of it right there. Montez Sweat with a tackle. It went right back to him, but he pretty much had nowhere to go on that play. Now the previous carry looked pretty good. That one, maybe he was a little tired. I don't know. Yeah, maybe he should have tapped out and had a second back come in and maybe make that run. Who knows? On second down, Montgomery. That's a gain of four as we slip inside of four minutes left in regulation. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it. Thank you. A field goal from this spot likely out of the question. They've got to get closer here on third down. Golf now to throw. Setting up the screen. This is Gibbs. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. It's a pickup of six. Well, that's just what you call a chain mover right there. Nothing fancy. Get the ball out to the back, and you're asking him to make a little bit extra out of maybe what is nothing. And he does exactly that. Picks up the first down. I can't wait till we get to the point, partner, where we're not saying chain mover, but we're saying laser pointer picks it up for the first down. 
Now this one over the middle into the hands of his tight end complete. And he'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. Right about 20 yards on the pickup. Well, officially, they'll say it's going to go for 19. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. And he is out of bounds. Looks like right at the 15. So the completion good for six yards. And it'll be second down. This drive, it's been a good mix. Three passing plays, three runs. Hitting on all three of those passes. And the last one putting him in the red zone. So wouldn't you think play action right here? Because you've got the ability and had the ability to run it and throw it. Go play action and take your shot at the end zone. Now Montgomery. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. A big play here as the crowd noise rises. Third and one. Now gone. are going to have a first and goal coming up as they find a way to convert there on third and one. A shotgun snap for goal. This will be caught at about the five. A good display of power, but ultimately it gets him just inside the five to the four and no further. And that absolutely cannot happen. Just a gain of a yard in this situation, you've got to get chunks of yardage. Otherwise, the defense, very happy with what you're doing. Here now, second and goal. Montgomery is not going to get a whole lot, maybe a yard down to the three. Well, the spotlight hit him once already tonight as he got into the end zone. He was trying to make it a double spotlight, wasn't he? But credit the defense, bottling him up, not letting him get in for the second score there. This crowd is doing all they can. Here's third and goal. Now gone. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Palmer, they've got one chance left to keep this one going, and I think for you and me, with their offensive coordinator now has to think back, cycle through every play of this contest, and remember what's worked and what has it. Because right here, he needs the best play of the game in order to keep this one alive. Badgley's kick is good. And with a little more than a minute to go, we are all tied. I tell you, the life of a kicker. He has not been called on the entire game. He's over there by the net, but they send him out here in the fourth quarter and say, hey, go tie the game, will you? And guess what? He comes through. I just don't know how they do it. I really don't. These cats are a different breed from you and me. That's a pressure kick, but that one was never in doubt. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. This fielded right at the goal line. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. And now the Bears coming out as they get ready. Well, partner, here it is. They've got the chance to win the game. You'd have to think they need to get it near the opposite 40 to have a chance to kick a game-winning field goal. We'll see what they can do. And you're right about that, because if we look at it in macro, that's what it looks like. But I think in micro, the head coach has already asked the special teams coach, what is he feeling? What does he think? Where does he want the football? What's the yard line we have to get? And he's already relayed that to his quarterback and his offense. They know what the goal is. Now the key, can they get there? Work with me, partner. Take a deep breath, because that's what they're doing down the field now. That incompletion allowed them to exhale a little bit. Get in the huddle, 
kind of scan the crowd, see if any celebrities are here. Relax a little bit as they start this big drive. On second down, Swift. And he'll be upended at the 33, following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. Well, that sets up a big third down. Now the decision has to be, do you run it here and play for OT? Or do you go ahead and press it downfield? What can they come up with here? It's third and seven. Operating from the gun, Williams. Able to find Komet. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. throw. Williams. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go in the football game. But they'll come up now. This is second and long. Operating from the gun, Williams looks for the out route, and it's complete to Komet. And the clock will now stop as a timeout is called with five seconds left. So here's Cairo Santos on the field goal try. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. And now this game's going to come down to the right leg of their kicker. This from long, very long range. And that is no good. Oh, he missed it just wide of the upright. And a costly one there as this game remains tied here in the fourth. Boy, that's a big-time letdown there. You work yourself in position to win the game, but the kick winds up no good. And now you've got to regroup as a team, get the energy back up, and get ready for overtime and make sure you pump him up too. He may be needed to try and win it again later. Here we go, this to avoid overtime. Oh, and that is incomplete. Four quarter is not enough for all even and the overtime we go. How much fun is this for everyone who's watching the game? How much fun is it for us to see this one get an extra period to get settled? So the Lions now, they'll get the first crack at things here in overtime as we are back underway. Taken at the goal line. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And now the drive starts with a completion out to the right. From the 20, here's the second and eight. From the gun, here's Goff. Oh, and it's intercepted. And they're going to be set up in the red zone right around the 17-yard line. Now a first throw here in overtime. They'll find Everett there, complete. 
call it a gain of a yard, and it's second down. Well, right now, every little bit of yardage helps. And they're, they're obviously well within his range. It's just about keeping the football and getting in the right spot. Know your kicker. Get, as you mentioned, get it to the right spot, the place that he wants to kick it from. And if you do decide to throw the football, it either goes to your team or no one. It's the only kind of throw you make. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Call it about a gain of three, and they'll be looking at a third and seven coming up. And that carry probably not so much for yardage, just to get the spot that you want to kick the field goal. And any yardage a game there is really kind of gravy, and this just becomes what my old coach used to say, get into position to be in position. <laughs> and that's what they want, the right spot for their kicker to line up the field goal. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone. But it's incomplete. So many times when we talk about coverage, we're just talking about a defender running with a receiver. But a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. And we're going to get another timeout called by the Lions. They'll be left with just one remaining here at OT. So here's Cairo Santos on the field goal try. This to win it in overtime. And he got it. The kick is good in overtime. He's able to split the uprights. And this home crowd is in a frenzy as their guys have pulled it out of the end. A lot more was on the line in this one than just defending your home field, CD. They defend their home field against a division rival and get the victory. So this